Hi and welcome to Step by Step. Um, I, I have done a video in the past that related to the scenario where you have too many bubbles in your aquarium and that was mainly about how you uh, fit a regulator on to alter the flow going through the aquarium of air. Uh, I think it's fair to say that I probably get more people with the opposite scenario which is that they have no air bubbles through and that, that might be because I haven't done videos which is why I'm doing this video. In the scenario where you have no airflow the first question I would always ask is clearly is your air pump working? My air pump is working okay and because of that just to show it's working here in that scenario the air pump is working no airflow sort of coming through that is what this video is about and I'll talk about what causes that I'll talk about how you fix it which is the key thing but also how you avoid it as well you've done your check the air pump is working still no airflow what has happened is that a gravity has pulled water down out of your aquarium and has filled up literally almost filled up your airline right down and I've got water in this scenario uh, going right down almost almost to the end there uh, and it fills this up and because of that because of this because of this water the air pump can't push hasn't hasn't got enough power or air to push this water all the way back up and into the aquarium so 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 that is what causes it there are numerous scenarios where uh, this happens and uh, the most common one I find is uh, with a new tank. So someone gets a new tank, they fill it up with water, they don't have any fish and you think, okay, I won't put the air pump on. Uh, one thing I always say about uh, starting up a new aquarium is to get it up and running, even if you've got no fish, run it for three days. And that includes the air pump. You leave the air pump on all the time. Um, you know, get the air uh, flowing through. So, so there's the new tank scenario where people just don't put the air on because they don't have any fish. The other scenario is, is probably maintenance, where someone uh, is doing you know, quite a lot of work at the bottom of the aquarium, maybe the backing um, or the bottom, um, and, um, and, and they leave it off. This, this scenario that I've created here, I did w by leaving the air pump off for about sort of 20 minutes. So that sort of time period is enough for, for water to come out and, and fill up. Uh, your airline. If you've got that scenario where you've stopped, you've turned the air pump off, you've been uh, doing some maintenance, connect it all back up, put it on, ah, it doesn't work. So the, so the other last scenario is quite obvious, is where you have an outage, a power outage. So, so you know, if that's you know, like 30 minutes or something like that, that's enough to create this scenario here. Okay, your air pump's working, no airflow. How do you fix it? What you've got to do <clears throat> is you have to blow down here. You, you, you've got to do what your air pump can't do, which is put more air pressure uh, down this pipe. Now, the best way is to, is to stand up, elevate it so that the tube's high, and then blow down this um, the pipe. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to sit here. <laughs> I'm going I'm to see if I can blow down this pipe and it, you, you do need to give it quite a lot of uh, so air sort of pressure so here here I go wish me luck there <laughs> right so I, I, I can see from the tube that a lot of the water has moved back up I shall connect my air pump back on again There you go, just give it another one. Put your air pump back on and you should find it all working. And the, the air pump now has enough in it to be able to force 
the uh, the water back on um, back up the the tube. It, it's always worth elevating it for a while like this to get that to get that water back down that end and into the aquarium. Now, as I said. <coughs> As I said, and you can tell I'm coughing, it does need quite a bit of air pressure to get that. Now, uh, the, the easiest thing to do is to get a bicycle pump like this. And you need one of those on. I don't know what it's called, but one of those attachments that go on there. I think it's for blowing up um, air beds and things like that. You, you need one of those on. And all you would do is you would put that into there and then just give this some gentle pressure through to get it started like that disconnect put your air tube back onto your pump and you should be you should be fine that's how you fix it okay how do you avoid it then? Okay, well, the first point is don't turn off your air pump. Leave it on. It, even if you're even if you're taking your water level or whatever you're doing right down uh, it, below the uh, the bubble tube or anything like that, just leave your your airflow just continually going through your aquarium. Um, that that stops it. I. It's rare for, rare for this to happen to me because I always leave my air pump on. Occasionally though, I have had it. If you do need to take your, if you do need to turn your air pump off or you need to get a new air pump, that's a good example. Um, uh, what you can do is elevate your airline over the top of the tank and down like that. That should, uh, because of the way gravity works, <laughs> that should stop water uh, coming out the back of your aquarium and in, into the tube because there's not necessarily enough pressure in here of water to to force that that water back up and over the top of your your tank if you, if you keep this elevated you can elevate it anywhere um, but it, it's just about um, so elevating it um, so anyway that that is how um, how you fix it I just because I mentioned it and I've, I've done a, a video on the use of a regulator, which is what I've got here. This is how you reduce it. It's why it's so important that you that you always have uh, this one stop, you know, this valve on here, because what although it allows some air out, well, what it will do is the air, the, the water, sorry, will come down the tube and it, it won't go any further. So without this on, this here, you could potentially drain your tank completely of water onto your floor, and that could that can happen over a period of hours, uh, not even days, hours. You can literally drain your tank and you would end up with dead fish, which isn't a good thing. So um, so always make sure you have the the valve, which any decent um, um, sort of company that provides uh, these tubes will have a one-stop valve, you know, this uh, one-way valve on. Uh, the biobs all, all have it. The other important thing is when I've talked about adding a regulator, so that so that uh, this is to reduce the airflow, that you always fit it on this side. So the pumps here, you always fit it on this side of the valve, not on this side of the valve, because if water came down in the scenario we've just shown, um, water can come out through here. So you you could still drain the tank. Uh, if you put this in the wrong place. So I'll always put it there. So there you go, I shall give my fish some air. Uh, don't worry, uh, as I said, I, it, it took about 20 minutes for the scenario. Um, I, I have been giving fish air. <laughs> but if you, uh, fish can go for very, quite a long time without any air supply within your aquarium. And if you think about every time you, you go to your aquarium shop and buy some fish and they put them in a bag and you might travel you know, two hours or whatever in your car to bring them back, that's just in a small bag. So in a large aquarium like this, they can go for quite a long period of time without any actual air within the tank. So there you go. Uh, no injury, nothing killed in this video. <laughs> that's how you fix it. I hope you find that useful if you have the problem uh, you might have never had it then all of a sudden tomorrow it'll happen to you 
you know how to fix it and get one of these, it's far easier and just fix it that way. Okay, take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>